Did you know that there's an estimated 10,000 different kinds of ants in the world? And the amazing thing is that many of these 10,000 different kinds of ants have information in their DNA code that's totally different than any other ant. It's just suddenly there. It would be like a computer program that just suddenly started to do something completely different that it, the designer had never designed it to do. The program functions because the information is put there by intelligence, just like a different species of ant acts and behaves and looks different because its creator has designed different information into it. What I want to talk about is not necessarily the ants, but the ant nests. Most of these ants live underground, but have you ever noticed that often in the spring or after major storms, water is just standing on the ground and all of the soil underneath is completely filled with water, every nook and cranny. Why doesn't rain kill all the ants underneath the ground? Because they're not actually dead. Now, ants aren't like fish. They can't pull oxygen out of the water. So the ants breathe by pulling oxygen through little tiny microscopic openings underneath their abdomen called spiracles. Now, when they're trapped underneath of water, those spiracles close, so water doesn't like seep up into their body, and then they go dormant. An ant can stay underneath the water for weeks, looking totally dead, but it's not. It's just in a dormant state. When the water dries up, the spiracles open, it pulls oxygen in, and it starts crawling around again. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? You can even do this as an experiment. It's kind of fun. If you can grab some ants without crushing them and drop them in a glass of water, and then just keep pushing them underneath the water, eventually they will just drop to the bottom like they're dead. Pour out the water, blow off the ants, or you could sprinkle some salt on them to dry them out quicker. After a few minutes, they'll just start crawling around again. It's an amazing design by God. Why does this matter? Well, it answers a um, criticism that atheists and people who want to reject the Bible often throw out. They will say, there's no way Noah could have taken all the kinds of different creatures and animals on the ark. There's just too many of them and they'll use insects as an example. There's 10,000 different kinds of ants. Well, that would fill up the ark, but Noah didn't have to take them. And the Bible tells us in absolutely crystal clear terms that every animal that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. Every bird, every dog, every mammal, every reptile, except the ones that went on Noah's ark with him. Ants don't have nostrils, they don't have lungs, they don't breathe air it is just absorbed into their body. So insects didn't need to be taken on the ark because they could have survived outside the ark. And the ants show us that. So those kind of things used to ridicule the Bible ignore what we actually know about the natural world around us. And they make up stories to try to reject what God has told us. So ants, with their ability, point us back to the truth of what God has to say about the history of this planet.